Emma and I are out on the road with My Market Kitchen and we're in the historic inland port of Achukamoama. We have lots of do and see and of course cook. So stay tuned to see what we create while we're in this amazing destination. Just like my friend Emma Dean, someone that knows the finer points of camping, or as I like to call it, glamping, is David the Man About Town Man. Linton, it doesn't get much better than this. Here we are in one of the wonderful Discovery Parks, and this is Maiden's Inn, and as you said, on the banks of the Murray, Moama, it's just beautiful. It's a way of really unwinding, and you have a busy, busy time with Emma. You're doing a lot of shows, you're traveling, but I tell you what, if you can get in your Supreme Caravan, <laughs> the classic tour that's behind us, it's like luxury these days, the home on wheels, and I think it's good for the blood pressure. You know what is also nice? It's a family environment. You can hear kids playing in the background. It just relaxes me, and it gets me back to the basics of cooking. And you can cook just as well in a Supreme Caravan with your Swift oven as you can in your kitchen. You told me that. True. I can. When you've got an oven or a good gas stove, you're not limited. You've got your Dometic fridge freezers, and then I'm a bit of a one for luxury, so <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> laying on a sleeping bag, but you know, you've got your air conditioner, then you've got your solar panels. You're exactly right, because that's one thing that I have enjoyed. When I used to go bush in the Northern Territory, had no refrigeration. So it was all canned goods, salted beef or corned beef. Mm. I've incorporated everything that you're talking about into this dish I've got going now. So I'm going to join oh. you back here in a couple of hours. You're not going to tell me what the dish no, is? No, no. Look, it's a bit of a play on the whole camping thing. I've brought a bit of my old self, paired it with a bit of my new self, and it's going to melt into this delicious dish over a number of hours. I do have run request. Get some nice wine ready for my return. A red or a white? Red. Okay, so we've got good food coming up, a mystery dish for me. Looking forward to it. Let's not forget the backdrop. Emma and I are on the banks of the Murray. We've decided to go glamping in our Supreme Caravan and I'm all about making it easy when it comes to eating. So I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite recipes, which is a tinned roast. Now I grew up on a cattle station and I know all about pantry items, okay? And so this roast is using lovely beef brisket, which I picked up down the main street of Moama. You can get beef at any major stop you make along the way when you're out camping. Got some white beans or cannellini beans. Exactly, and now it's pantry items. So I have butter beans and cannellini beans a tin of tomato, and this is my secret yeah. seasoning, which is in every pantry. What do you think it is? Some kind of packet soup? French onion uh -huh. soup. And this is going to be the perfect addition to my brisket. <laughs> and quite simply, I have my oven preheated in the van at 160, and then the rest is as simple as this. Crack the cans open. Crack. These are just beans, salt and water, so I'm not even draining them. Nah. And the liquid in the cans is like a stock as well. It's gonna add extra seasoning. One tin of crushed tomatoes. A little bit of French onion soup in the bottom. Let's get some garlic. I love this dish, how simple and easy it is. <laughs> Pop it in the oven and set and forget. I know. I love it. Just because you're That's... going camping doesn't mean you have to scrimp. No, you don't. And, but the, the thing with camping, it's about getting the right ingredients and cutting corners where you can. So I've got my pantry items that are doing a lot of the grunt work for me, but they can just survive in your caravan for months at a time. My consumable items, like my beautiful brisket here, you can pick that up when you stop in the town. Yes. Like, well, I'm a butcher, they did me a great deal down the road. Support so. the local economies yeah. too that you're driving through. Absolutely. And support the little small businesses, I love doing that. So Having there we a chat go. As well. Having a chat. Chat to the old butchers, <laughs> see what their recipes are too. Exchange a few hot tips. <laughs> I love it. The butchers, they know how to cook meat. Yeah. I love brisket. He didn't need to convince me because it is an underutilised cup and it's a cheap cup because not everyone knows what to do with it so it doesn't fly out the door. It needs long and slow. Absolutely. But then it's worth the long and slow. And look at that, just Whoa. straight on top of my beans. Boom. And finally, the rest of the French onion soup. Good quality, so you know it's going to be good ingredients used. And it's going to be dry garlic, dried onion, dried thyme. And it's going to really add a nice, deep, roasty flavour. And that'll render down that fat, create a really yummy sauce. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's what you want. You want to cook it slow, so all the juices and stock add to the beans. Bit of baking paper first now, ah. just straight across the top. This is just to ensure it doesn't dry out through the cooking process. 
and also it doesn't stick. Sometimes a foil can stick to your meat. There you go, Emma. Beautiful. This is great. The best thing about this recipe is that it takes about five minutes to get ready. Yeah. Put it in the oven and then you get to go enjoy the scenery behind us. That's what it's all about. The water sports, panel boarding. Exactly. Get when, on a boat. <laughs> when you've got something as beautiful as the Murray behind us, you don't want to spend all the time cooking. You want your oven to do the work for you so you can get out and enjoy everyone's company. Now this, into the oven for four to six hours or until the beef starts to fall apart, nice and tender. And while this is in the oven, I'm going to go and have a look around this amazing park. As I said, David, oh, have a look at this. I had a real treat for you. Now this is one of my favorite cut of meats. It's a brisket and I've called it my tinned roast because you're gonna laugh at this. I said I was bringing a bit of my old, bit of my new. Yes. So old ingredients, I had tinned beans, tinned tomatoes. This is from growing up. Yeah. When you had the tin beans, tin tomatoes, you learned I it. I grew up on tinned food. And the secret ingredient, which was the seasoning for this roast, French onion soup. Oh. Soups are full of seasonings, flavors, and they go great in casseroles. Looks and look fantastic. at that. I, thank you. And I did keep up my end of the bargain. It's a beautiful red, 2013. Bit of year. age. Bit of age, like me. I'll tell you what I'll trade. I'll give you the wine. I'll give you the food. That's a fair trade. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, how enjoyable is this? As you said, there's no reason when you leave the comforts of your home, you can't eat like a king. Beautiful, beautiful. And what are you calling it? My tinned roast. Let me know what you think. Here we go. That is magnificent. I'm that glad you enjoyed beautiful. it. It's one of my favorite dishes. It's called my tinned roast. Now, you can incorporate any ingredients that you want. But the main thing is let it cook long and slow in the oven and then enjoy it with great company and an even better view.